Okay, now this one's going to be a little more tricky. So uh, how do we how do we go about this? Well, step number one is you again. Whenever we have a log, we get rid of it right away. That's pretty much the plan, right? Change to exponential form, meaning get rid of the log. Get rid of the log. So <clears throat> you know how to do that. Uh, oh, oh, here, let me, let me actually rewrite the question. It's log base four of one over 256. Now there's nothing on the other side. There's just a blank. So let's just put an X over there. So yeah, so I should, maybe that was step zero. Add X on the right side. So put an X over there, because we got to have something we're saying it's equal to. Call it X. Okay, <clears throat> then step one, that's we grab the base, do the switch like that. So the before to the x equals one over 256. No more log. We got rid of the log when we do the swish change to exponential form. We good to there so far. So we just added an x to the right side. Just put an x over here. And then do the swish, which gets rid of the log. We changed it to exponential form. Now we just need to solve that. That's easier said than done, though. How, how in the world do we solve that? Well, here's what I would suggest. Take your calculator on your calculator and try raising 4 to various powers. You know, with the, the power button <clears throat> on your calculator, like the x to the y, or maybe yours is x to the blank or up up arrow, like that. Whatever your power button is, just try guessing. Try like two, three, four, five, six, until you get 256. Four to the fourth. I got four to the fourth power. Right? So, so in other words, what we're saying, this has become four to the X. So, so step two, guess on your calculator. Sounds funny to say guess in a math class, but this is how you do it. Guess on your calculator until you find four to the fourth is 256, right? So let's put this over here. So let me say, okay, so this is one over. It's still in the, it's still in the denominator, right? 256 is still in the denominator. So four to fourth, four to the fourth is still in the denominator as well, right? So, so whatever number you have, just take the base on the other side and start doing powers until you get the 256. Or you can just do a bunch of fours. You, you can just um, you can just go four times four times four times four until you get to 56 and then just count them go oh that was four to the fourth right because that's what four to the fourth means four times four times four times four four times so either just start multiplying fours together until you get 256 or use the power buttons over here until you find one that comes out 256. So now we've got, we, we're to here. Remember that's still in the denominator because the 256 was in the denominator. So the 256, which is four to the fourth is still in the denominator. Okay, so, so what does that mean? So you tell me, what power do we need on the X here to make a four go to the denominator? Remember what we've learned about what makes things jump to the denominator like that? What does X have to be to make that happen? Yeah, Kristen's got it. That's got to be negative four. Remember, negative power. So that's a really important rule that you're aware of. They're going to test you on that in this chapter repeatedly. Negative powers. The mistake people make is people think negative powers make a negative answer. They don't. Negative powers make a fraction answer. Negative powers make a fraction answer. 
right? In other words, four to the negative four is one over four to the positive four. Remember, negative powers jump. They're negative. They're unhappy where they're at in the fraction. They want to jump to the other side and then they become happy, positive after they jump to the other side of the fraction. So yeah, this X up here needs to be negative four to make it equal and become one over four to the fourth. So the answer X that we're looking for, negative four, done. Right, they just asked us to find X, right? X was the right side, negative four. So let me recap on that. Step zero, so to speak, put an X on the right side and then just do the swish thing to get rid of the log and change to exponential. And then use your calculator, guess, so you find out what that 256 is, four to the fourth, then you go, oh, what power do you need to make four to the fourth in the bottom? Well, it's gotta be negative four. And the power is the answer. How do you know? Well, that's where the X is, see? So the X is right here in the power. And the X is right here on in the answer blank. So you track it with me? The X, the answer blank, and the power are all one in the same. And they are negative four. So that's our answer, negative four.